Starbucks is in almost every corner of the world, but there are some very strangely located ones, like this one in the middle of a mountain, or the most secret Starbucks where you can only enter through a hidden doorway. I found six of the most strangely located Starbucks across the globe, and this week I'm going to visit them all. We start here in Seoul, South Korea. I'm, I'm, I'm in a mountain. <laughs> Behind me is a Starbucks right in the middle of the Korean mountains. I don't know what it's doing here, but it's like a really cool and cozy mountain lodge. It's also like a nice outdoor garden with a view of the mountains. But apparently, some of these strange Starbucks actually sell strange items that's not available anywhere else. So yeah, so let's go. Okay, bye 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 bye. It was basically a wood cabin, but a really fancy one. And there was even this cool rooftop where you can look over the mountains. But were the rumors true? Did they sell strange Starbucks items? This is supposedly our weird drink number one, cold brew rice tea. I don't really know what this is supposed to be. Mmm, that is really, really good. Chocolate mountain bamkuchan, which just looks like a big piece of chocolate cake with a bamkuchan. It looks like a mountain. Ah, oh, that's why it looks like a mountain. Oh, this tastes amazing. If the rest of the Starbucks are gonna be like this, I'm gonna be in for a blast. <sighs> All right guys, that's our first Starbucks done. We're gonna rate each one on the strange scale based on the location and food, so we can find the strangest strange Starbucks. On the strange scale, I'm gonna give it a seven, purely because of the location. And the location is very, very weird. It's like, it's literally in the middle of a mountain. But the food is just nice, really. Like, it wasn't really strange. All right, let's head to the next spot. Hi guys, we're here in Hanoi, Vietnam. This one is quite strange because it's actually a house that's been transformed into a Starbucks. I went into the Starbucks and it felt like I was just stepping into someone else's home. It even had the creaky staircases. But in the corner of my eye, I spotted this. What is it? It's a rainbow cake. I've never seen that before. I also found a pineapple drink. It's filled to the top. Oh my God, it's gonna spill, it's gonna spill. Ah, ah, oh, it's spilled everywhere, oh no. I have found two weird things here. Pineapple frozen cold brew. I'll be honest, I don't like it. <laughs> it's not that nice. See, this rainbow cake looks actually quite tasty. Yeah. This cake is delicious. The food was, you know what, that pineapple drink was disgusting. I hated that pineapple drink. On a strange scale, it gets a six. It's just a house, isn't it? The rainbow cake was strange though. Let's move on to the next spot. Hi guys. I am in the middle of a rainforest on a mountain and it was pouring down with rain. That is a strange Starbucks behind me. Yeah, let me explain in the voiceover because this is getting too wet now. So please help me. So yeah, uh, I'm in a castle in a rainforest in Pahang, Malaysia. Who knows why there's a Starbucks here? It's probably the most remote Starbucks there is. And it's actually in a French themed castle town, which really confused me when I first saw a red bus and a British telephone box. It's literally like a magical village with a big pink castle. Okay, let's go in. Ooh. Ooh. I am wet. <laughs> I didn't get a drink though. I found this yuzu lemonade thing, which is a very strange color. And I also ordered two foods that I found, caramel something donuts. And that is some sort of burnt cheesecake thing. Strange Starbucks. Ooh, that is delicious. The donut had a slice of cheese inside, like a cheeseburger, which I didn't think I'd like, but it was generally one of the nicest desserts I've had. Oh my. The burnt cheesecake was all right. After eating, the weather cleared up, so I wanted to explore this French castle village, and it turns out it's incredibly cool. There's birds, there's ducks, there's a band singing to you. On the strange scale, I'm probably gonna give it an 8.5. I think it's stranger than a mountain, and it's definitely stranger than a house, but I think if we had weirder food, I would have given it a nine. So let's see if any of the last three can snatch a stranger, strange Starbucks. Okay. Bye, let's go to the next one. Bye. We are in Thailand, in Phuket. Behind you, it is a whole entire sea view of Phuket. It's a very strange location because it's on a rooftop on a hotel in the middle of like nowhere. I've looked at the menu, there's some strange items, so let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah, this one's nice. But it's a total hassle to get to. You can't actually just walk in. You have to wait at the bottom of the hotel, but there's be enough people so you can get on a truck to go up a very steep hill. But once you're in, oh boy, you're in for a treat. It had an amazing view of the Phuket Bay and felt just like a paradise. I then had to look at the foods they had. And what is this? And why does it all look so good? There's this like blueberry cake thing. I don't know what it is, but it looks so good. Ooh. Oh, so tasty. 
<laughs> Ooh, that is strange. That is very strange. Is that alcohol? Do you know what? That's probably the strangest thing I've had so far. For the strange scale, I'm gonna give it a 7.5. The drink is the strangest drink so far, but the location is just in a cool place and not actually strange. All right, let's head to the next one. We're here in Singapore. Behind me is a Starbucks that's in a bird paradise. So it's in like a wildlife park. There's loads of birds like flying around. There's like pigeons, not pigeons, <laughs> cockatoos. I don't know, I, I don't know many birds to be honest with you. Here I felt like I was in a log, but a really fancy one. There's a lot of green around, which I guess is what a nature park is supposed to look like. There was even a playground outside, but I hadn't found any birds yet. Were they hiding from me? Then I realized I was actually just outside the bird paradise. So I'm gonna go find me some birds after I eat. The Starbucks strangers sold a ton of teddy bear themed foods. So I had to try me some Paddington bear. Right, let's try this bad boy. Bad boy? I love cheesecakes by the way. Oh, that's good. That's like coffee cheesecake. Yeah, I'll be honest, the Paddington iced coffee was just an iced coffee with a chocolate Paddington. But it was tasty. Now it's time to find some birds. At first, there's not many when you walk in, but then there's birds every turn of the corner. I mean, it is a bird's paradise, so I did expect to see a lot of birds. Nevertheless, there's this bird, and that bird, and this bird. Again, I don't know much about birds. On the strange scale, I'll say it's probably like... I'll be honest, like a five. It was a really, really, really nice place. But it just wasn't that strange, apart from the location, which I guess is part of the whole video. It is strange Star Wars locations. We're now onto our last spot, and this was a special one, because we actually have to head back to Korea, to the most secret Starbucks in the world. Let's play a game. The entrance is somewhere here. Can you spot it? No? Well, neither could I. It's because it's literally hidden in a street market. I walked past food stands, crabs, spices, and even went up a secret stairway to what I thought was the entrance. Is wrong way, wrong, wrong, wrong. And then finally, found it. I found the entrance. Uh -huh. There we go. And after stepping through a mysterious lounge, I finally reached the secret strange Starbucks. But why was this place so strangely secret? Well, it's because this used to be an abandoned theatre. Since 1994, no one has had a use for this place. Until Starbucks came along in 2022 and decided to turn it into a strange Starbucks. But is it the strangest strange Starbucks? Is this not just like the coolest Starbucks ever? It looks good. The food is yummy, I won't lie, but it's pretty normal. On the strange scale, it's between this and a castle for the strangest strange Starbucks. And I think this one just takes the title. You can't beat an abandoned theatre, can you? If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one as well. Okay, bye!